can't wait to hear what this man has to say. We wish that you would run again, please. I wish that Al Gore would run, run for president also. And win. Run in 08. Somebody that can fix this country and change the world. So what we need you to do is step up to the plate. I feel the Democratic Party really needs you. But Al, I'll get up and vote if you run for president. Here we are in the Al Gore parking lot. As you can see, all of these people are here to see Al Gore. Mr. Gore, I have just one thing to say to you this evening, sir, and that's a question. If you truly believe what you lecture about and what you told us about in the film, An Inconvenient Truth, how then can you not be seeking office in 2008? It's bigger than you or your family. It's about the planet. I read today on a PowerPoint presentation that if YouTube were a nation, it would be the 11th largest nation in the world. So I just want that nation to know that I think Al Gore is just stupendous. That's why I'm here tonight with my daughter, my brother, his daughter, who's 10 years old. We can't wait to hear what this man has to say. Go Al Gore. Al, as a former and current politician, you stand less for politics and more for things that are right for this world. So we wish that you would run again, please, and win, like you did last time, only this time go into office. Please, Al, run. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to be here. And I really want you to run for president. Yeah. I think that you are the man. And when uh, speaking with all of you, uh, waiting to go see. Hello, Mr. President. <laughs> I want you to know that... Uh, Mr. Gore, you should run for presidency. <laughs> How then can you not be seeking office in 2008? Hi, I'd like to just say um, I wish that Al Gore would run for president also. And win. Um, if you don't, just please do what you're doing. Continue to do what you're doing. Please, Al. And um, help the next generation, which is my son's generation over here. Um, thank you. I'm out here working the crowd, waiting for, for you to get here at UMBC. We got postcards asking our governor to sign the Maryland Global Warming Solutions Act. And I'm asking you this time, Al, why don't you run? You got to do it for us. You got to do it, okay? Gore in 08, it's not too late. Now, take a look at all these people that have come to see you. Let's go see what a few more of those folks have to say. This is Al Gore parking lot. Hey, Al, we need you. Earth is in the balance. You're eight years too late, but it's never too late for a good man. We need a smart president this time, somebody that can fix this country and change the world. We need you. Please run. Your powerful support for the environmental mu movement was just one of those things that happened at that time. Hi, this is a message for Al Gore. Uh, I feel the Democratic Party really needs you. It's bigger than you or your family. It's about the planet. Earth is in the balance. And uh, it really changed my life. I went back to school and... Um, became a teacher so that I could influence um, young people about the importance of the environment. And You really won the election in 2000 and I think if you ran again you'd give Democrats some a really good candidate that they could look to uh, for hope for the future. So what we need you to do is step up to the plate and win one for everybody. Al, why don't you, uh, I haven't voted in 20 years, but Al, I'll get up and vote if you run for president. And uh, we really need you to run. Please consider a run in 2008. Hey, Al, we need you. Go for a president. Al, you're doing a wonderful job. Please keep up the good work, and I hope you spread your message throughout the world. Hi, Al. I was in the same unit you were in in Vietnam, the 20th Engineer Brigade. I was there in 69, 70. I think you were there in 70, 71. Run in 08. I just want to thank you, Al, for having the courage and the persistence to get this message around the world. And isn't it ironic that you will have wound up doing more for the environment by not being elected president last time? Of course, there's always the future elections.